no, it's been it's been good. It's been challenging. Boys have been really welcoming, and I feel pretty comfortable at the moment. Like pre Christmas is sort of a bit of teething and just finding my way into it. But like I didn't do a whole lot of training pre Christmas as well, so getting a good block in, had a good month in now, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Had an intra club on Thursday, so looking forward to this weekend anyway, or this Thursday. Yeah, the boys are pretty confident. We had we had a pretty heated hit out on Thursday and like everyone was going hell for Skelter and like everyone's putting their hand up for a spot and I think a few guys will get rested but uh, the guys that come in are going to be playing for their spots so it's going to be pretty pretty well on there. Everyone's playing pretty well. Like we've had Swanee, as everyone knows, had a really good game on the weekend. Pendles as class is just bringing everyone along behind him and Taylor Adams had a really good pre-season, hasn't put a step wrong and you got guys like Nathan Freeman coming up as well, Jordan Degui had a really good game as well so hopefully we um, match it with everyone this year. How long does it take to get used to playing with those sort of guys different to your know, teammates? Yeah, it, it, um, yeah, it took a little while, like just through training that but um, even on the game on Thursday I was still trying to feel out and to see what everyone was going to do and it was a bit unpredictable for me but I think in the next few weeks I should be able to sort of get a bit more of a read on how the game's going to play out. You wouldn't have had too many pre-season crowds at North like you did on Thursday night at Colton. Were you overwhelmed by just some support would come in your match? Yeah, it's a bit surprised actually. <laughs> like it's huge. Like I know there's probably like one or two thousand there. Is, like, they had a pretty big build up to it. There's, I don't know, like burger trucks and that everything there and, and media and we just uh, at North, it was just basically the boys coming out for a normal training day, and there might be a couple hundred people, so it's a bit different. Got the boys amped up a bit, and it's nice. Brad Scott said recently, Levi, that he had trouble convincing you that you were, you were good enough at AFL level. Do you feel that that is the case before or for now? Um, no, nah, no, nah, like I knew I was good enough at the AFL level. I just always thought that. Like when I was playing under Brad, like there was always only going to be a couple games, and I might have been in a bit of trouble in the team. So I think a few things might have got twisted up there, but yeah, it's fine. Do you have a bit more of peace of mind now back home because you're going to play a pretty crucial role in the future? Yeah, I think that like that was like half the reason that I left because I thought there was more opportunity at the. The Commonwealth Football Club and, and a bit more opportunity in the middle there, whereas North, they like, they went pretty deep and they had a few stocks there and I was probably the one that was always sitting on the edge a little bit. So things got twisted up, what, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, I, I, when I had a conversation with Brad, I, I, I told him that the way I felt was I was only ever a couple of games out of getting dropped and that's that's just the way I felt, so it's, um, and then, yeah. Looking forward to playing the roots, I think it's around the mine. Um, yeah, well, hopefully I'll have a couple of good games under my belt by then, be going a bit, so yeah, it'd be a, be a nervous build up, so yeah, I am looking forward to that one actually, getting out of the way.